Agreed. So, second game. Are we thinking? Oh, oh we speaking of, draft has started. Are we thinking that, uh, that it's going to be a, a, a lot different? Because surely Middle Feed learns from this game as well. So they know what their problem is. We're going to assume that they, they can analyze it well, probably better is, than we can. The, the draft is going to be like a lot different this time around. Yeah. Because I would say, in a way, Liquid, the reason the draft was looking okay for Mid or Feed was because of the fact they picked up Necrophos. Fourth pickup on Liquid, um, while Mid or Feed still had two more picks left. So, yeah, the... Um, the, the draft looked okay for mid or feed, but that's simply because Liquid are taking a risk in a way, uh, putting Necrophos out there and letting it get counterpicks. So maybe the biggest advantage is that they have last pick this time. I hope so for them. We have a Bane ban, an Earth Spirit ban, and an Undying ban on the side of mid or feed. I'm not surprised about an Undying. He was, I mean, he was shut down, but he still, normally an Undying falls off. This one didn't really seem to. Yeah, it's, uh, I think Undyne has tools in his talent kit to allow him to um, continue to remain relevant. And, you know, honestly, the game ended when Undying is probably the strongest anyway, so yeah, it's not like yeah. there was any time for him. To... I do think Undying Core is actually viable. It's been like three or four years since we, we've seen it remaining. in the meta. Five we have uh, Earth remaining. Shaker faces Void and Queen of Pain banned, Lumi. All right, thank you so much. No problem. Got you covered. And uh, again, those heroes, Team not Liquid's too surprising, I guess. The faceless Void seems a little bit out. I mean, I mean, uh, Middle Feed likes the double bubble a lot. Okay. okay. And they banned, like we banned out the um, Void previous game as well. Ooh. The Winter Wyvern gets to be no. in, though. Uh, so mid or feed pick it up. The Winter Wyvern is already a counter to the IO Tiny, so I'm a bit surprised yeah. about that. They just feel it's that strong. Also, I, I would say that Tiny is able to play a little bit more independent of, of Wisp. Um, with the newer version of Five Tiny, but you're right. Remaining. Wyvern is a really good counter to the Wisp in many ways. Team so Liquid's we'll see how... Oh, okay, Blackwork, also a really good answer. Um, because he has cogs to be able to push uh, Wisp back. He also has a hook shot to be able to jump on the Wisp. One of the big things is the advantage of the Wisp is being able to allow you to split push and have Radiant the relocate safe. Back. And Clockwork is really good at being able to identify and fix that problem. Yeah, it's a typical opening for Middle Feet as well. The Weeha, Winter Wyvern, and the Cinder and Clockwork. I did that earlier this week as well. Uh, or last week, I should say. A great success, but I'm going to find out against who they were playing. Everything you guys say about remaining. countering the IO Wisp or IO Tiny combination team is true and I agree with. The thing is that it and only starts in the team back. fight stage of the game. And what we saw out of when I think Complexity picked this combination is that the mid struggle a lot. So I think that's going to be where you start and look. Like, what hero do you want to pick into this IO Tiny combination in mid lane? Timber, sir? Yeah, Timber. It's a great way to start uh, there as well. We, we saw, I think, Storm Ten paired against remaining. this combination, and Storm was just being tossed back nonstop, and yeah. it wasn't a, a very remaining. good game for the Storm in that one. You definitely have to run... I think you have to be willing to run against that. Yep. So Clock is most likely going to start mid and help out there. Cox is pretty nice, you know, pushing the away, like you guys mentioned. Any second uh, face bands coming out? Yep. Dark Seer Slordor. And Rubik. Team Liquids turn to pick. Furion. Oh, yeah. Globals. Yep. Globals. <clears throat> and we yeah. still have uh, the Tidehunter in the pool then. As in terms of scary green heroes, which Liquid liked a lot. Uh, that would actually be a great offlaner for mid or feet. Just... 10 seconds remaining. Uh, hmm. 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 <clears throat> Five seconds remaining. Well, it's gonna be. Um, I think Liquid Dawn liquid should first. just pick it up now. Make sure Mid or Feed don't. I think it's that value yeah. right now. Tiny, uh -huh. yeah. Because Anchor Smash gets a ton of value against Tiny, right? Tiny yeah. has a ton of base damage. Yeah. So Anchor Smash reduces a percentage of your base damage. So you're looking at minus 30, 40, if not more. And of course, I relocate ganks are very pronounced. You get the big warning sign on your minimap, so it's very easy for your TIE Hunter to be placed in that spot and get off that good ravage. And in general, I think you just want tanky, hard-to-kill heroes against tiny Wisp lineup. Sure, yeah. Because it stops the 
snowball of Tiny running around killing, just one shotting people. That that one thing I noticed about Tie Hunter in the last couple of days is that teams are gotten very good at like not triggering the Ravage. Like I remember seeing Zai or some other offlaner just unable to use Ravage for like good 20, 35 minutes. When I was casting, I was like, has this Tie Hunter used Ravage yet? Threat of a Ravage. Yeah. Has it gone too far? They are definitely taking their time on this uh, on this next pick, by the way. Radiant team pick. They go for Phoenix in the end. Alright, so I, I gotta I gotta share the story of this very sad pub game that we played the other day. Oh god. Alright. <laughs> so Phoenix gets to level 20. You get the I think was it twelve hundred increased seconds, dive really? talent? Yeah, super. Yeah. So that means you're diving in from like two screens away. Seconds, show show us on the map. A Phoenix dive. All right, so Phoenix starts from here, right? Mm -hmm. And goes like, wow, pretty much there. <laughs> Maybe a little bit exaggerated. That's a little bit exaggerated. But what you could do in the middle of your dive is you can meteor hammer. Oh, yeah. So we're getting our tier three buildings meteor hammer when the Phoenix was like between our tier one and tier two, you know, where, where it was. So we got wrecked pretty hard. Yep. There was no way to stop that combo. I think Phoenix might be back to a core position. Um, with the way his talents work out, with Fire Spirits increase in damage and such. Do you think he's going to be off lane this game? Uh, I think it's an open pick for now. Okay. Well, I think it does pretty well against the supports that are open right now. Clockwork is particularly funny because you Fire Spirits him uh, while he's in his cogs and he can't get out of his cogs very quickly. He has to deny it. Life Seeder is a nice uh, Phoenix Egg Killer, though. Yeah, and it's a uh -huh. hero that isn't too scared of Tiny Wisp either. He's naturally tanky, remaining. obviously, has rage. He mm -hmm. has a uh, escape mechanism if he doesn't get popped Five with his ulti. Remaining. Do you feel like the, there's still a uh, Tidehunter threat for either team? I mean, with the Phoenix picked up, like, do they, they pair nicely, surely, if, they, if Liquid still wants to pick it up, if Phoenix is a support. Radiant team. But at the same time, oh, never mind, they go for Nomi Knight. That is a great anti life stealer hero. It is. Run away. And with Omni on the on the field, this surely has to be the off lane. Team Liquid's yeah. turn to Team death. Liquid. Timbersaw. There's our Timbersaw. And we're expecting that Four to be strength mid heroes. <laughs> Four strength heroes on Liquid. Value whirling death right now. Yep. Uh, yep, yep. And it's the most value against Phoenix and Wisp. Squishy. Strength heroes. Ten oh, feels remain. amazing. That being said, Omni Knight is still a counter. To, or Five he does pretty well remain. against Timbersaw. So now that seeing that the Timbers on the other side, do you still Tiny Wisp on the mid lane? Are you looking to pick up a more independent mid and moving that lane to the safe? Uh, I think you can still win that lane. But I'm uh, not sure. It's not as free and guaranteed compared to the other. Yeah. Radiant team ban. Well, the last pick goes to Liquid, so they have that advantage this game. So Mitterfeed took uh, first pick again. Seems like it. Liquid had uh, Liquid had last pick last time. Yeah. So what do they get? Pretty self-sufficient, safe laning hero for Liquid, presumably. Um, and Five if they do switch the Tiny Wisp, then it's a self-sufficient mid. So kind of the same pool of heroes. Mid or feed need their... Uh, it looks like Liquid thought... What did they think? Maybe a safe lane? So, so some sort of like aggro lane coming out from mid or feed? Yeah, then I got the troll. The troll ban, yeah. Troll ban, okay, thank you. Oh yeah, sorry, there's a troll ban <laughs> on the side of Team Liquid. Well, it is true that Lifestealer can't be the be-all, end-all of your, your carries, so maybe they're right in that regard. Sort of... Well, there's another good option that, uh, that mid or can go for to create, like, that second core. Uh, Other than the team herself, of course. Radiant team pick. They ban out the Ursa. It either has to have a purge or it has to Team have magic. Turn to pitch. Or it has to have magic spirit. damage in the Storm Spirit. And this Storm then... How does the Storm Spirit do against Iotani? I don't think you want to be 
there, right? I hope, it's it, I hope it's not there. I hope it goes to the safe lane. It's not. Well, actually, no, they're going to put Timber off lane, right? That's the only way they could put Timber and Storm in this draft. Remaining. Or am I missing something obvious? Maybe they want to run an aggressive lane. No, you don't want to put Storm there. Well, if uh, you look at their dual lane, Lifestealer can't go into the off lane. Okay. Yeah. Um, it even just has, like, Wyvern up there or something with him. And then you put Storm in the safe lane. Put Storm in the safe lane, mid Timber Saw, something like that. I'm sure there are going to be, like, even if we were to call the lanes, like, they're going to switch as we go into the game because the team's going to try and match up against each other, trying to get the best lanes possible. Right, so from the important thing from Team Liquid's perspective is that they want to get the IO Tiny Lane against the Storm Spirit. I think that is going to be the best matchup for them, right? Yeah, probably. Okay. Uh, I think Weaver's not bad here. Uh, the Fusal pick. Blade Weaver, he doesn't address the Storm Spirit. Oh, Nyx Assassin definitely addresses the Storm Spirit. Damn. Yep. So core Nyx Assassin, really good versus Timber Saw 2, bad against Light Stealer. Or is it a carry Omni Knight? Nyx Assassin off lane. Then, yes? Who's yeah. playing what? I, I think Nyx Assassin. Mind Control is playing Nyx Assassin. Miracle is playing Phoenix. Oh. Oh. All right. Phoenix core. Wait. What's happening? I, I don't know how to GH is playing Tiny Matuma Manayo. Nice. That's how it looks right now. That's oh, they swapped. Never mind. <laughs> GH, Io, Matuma Man, Tiny. That makes a lot more sense. And Kuroki Come Phoenix on, and Miracle. Oh, they keep swapping, you guys. Miracle Nyx. Miracle Nyx. Sense if they can match that against the Storm Spirit. <sighs> what do you think, Lumi? Going to go with Team Liquid. Io, Tiny has... Proven itself to be a very strong combination. All right, Cap. They pick Nyx Assassin. It's really good here. All right. I'll go for Liquid as well. Maybe, maybe Middle Feet can prove us uh, wrong. Let's find out uh, with Only Pixel and Fogged. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the second game of the second series of the day. We have Liquid. Are you right? I think just the way you said that. <laughs> I'm you excited. <laughs> we, we've got some heroes and we've got Liquid trying some crazy stuff. You know, these boys, they don't give a damn. If you saw the last couple of minutes of the last game, you understand why Team Liquid's feeling kind of confident. This was, it just... fell to pieces for middle feed. This team, this team broke. Let's, let, I want this game to go yep. to level 25 Nyx Assassin so we get the what plus do you get at 25 100 Nyx? agility. If he's the carry, I want to see it. That is a lot of agility. <laughs> that is... I mean, it's not going to happen. It's not. It's not. If we see a level 25 Nyx Assassin in this game, I don't know what. It, it's just it's not going to happen. I wish it would, but it won't. We have a GHI, though. We have a GHI. That's something we have to... That's something that uh, yeah, a lot of teams, to... they don't they don't normally let GH players, are you? Lately, it's, uh, been, reasons? it's been getting left through okay. because teams are looking at Io and it's not as good as it was before because now people just learn to play versus it. It's gotten nerfed several times and the adding of Spirit Vessel is quite strong versus that hero. Yeah. However, Liquid, they have a very tremendous win rate on GH's IO, which I'm sure now that I said that, Nox is probably looking it up. And Come on, Nox, get it up there, Some Give us the stats. We love them. Thank you, Ben. So, my control, Omni Knight. He's got the set. He's got the wings. And here we go, the contest. Look at that. They push him out. GH IO. He's sad. He has to wait for the bottle. Did you see that, Ted? He has to wait for the bottle now. A solid 10 seconds. Kuro, is he... Oh. Going for the courier tonight. Is he gonna get the courier? The line is drawn though. It looks like I think they know. Kezu knows it's there, right? Kezu, yeah, Kezu drew the line. They know that Kuro's gonna go for it. He's Let's like, see. I play first Phoenix in pubs. I know what they do. So this mid lane indeed. So Miracle Nyx Assassin in the mid lane against Cancel Storm Spirit. How? Oh, Ooh, Carapace is the first remnant. Lots of damage coming. I mean, is this really that good of a lane for the Nyx Assassin, or is, or is Storm going to be okay? Or is it it used bad? to be way worse because yep. of the 4-man shield, but now there's no 4-man shield, so you actually take a little bit of harassment damage, but it's still, it still is a pretty nice lane for Nyx. It's just not yet. It's not absolutely gruesome as it was. Once Mana Burn starts coming out, though, it becomes mm -hmm. very obnoxious for... Top lane. Weeha taking a lot of damage. She has to... Go for a Courier kill with the Arctic oh, Burn. Um, they what just walked the it into him. What the heck was that? That was a that was a class A courier feed from Liquid. Mistake by GH. Okay. Oops. All right. Well, yeah, going to be pretty happy with himself. Oh, Liquid had him that one on a plate. Yep. But yeah, so this decision as well. The toss back onto the tower. Hello. Tomato. 
He's got to run. He's got to hide. He will be fine. He's supposed to pop the uh, pop the staff. But uh, yeah, as we saw, you've got to be careful in this lane. But to my man gets that toss back. You're going to be in a lot of trouble. Courier still gets to come out of the mid lane, and Matuma Mao will actually get the kill onto Weeha. Sinran came in trying to help turn things around, but in fact, Sinran, he may just pay off his own life. He'll cock them, but they're trapped in with him, as it's a double kill for Matuma Man. Can GH get out of there? He cannot. Matuma Man, too, as well. he should be in trouble as well. So as quick as they get a double kill, it ends up going back the way a middle feed as Weeha himself picks up the double. What is this game? Just what the list is going on. Bottom lane. Mind control. We get this Kezu. Ten for two on Kezu, eight for one on mind control. Pretty even lane. Yeah. They Both should. Is fine. I mean, no, they should just farm. No one should die in this lane. No. In the 1v1 situation. Unless they go for some crazy dive from some rotation, but unlikely. Cancel being extremely careful with the courier. Walks all the way back to pick up one of his salves. He did deliver himself two salves, so he's actually struggling quite a lot still versus this. Not going for bottle either. Double no. And top. See so what they can do. They Quick toss, toss back onto the stand and that uh, does the job. So Matu is going for the tree build. He went to the 1-1 build first. And then got the uh, tree grab at level 3. It's in trying to close the gap. He gets tossed away again. <laughs> That's twice back to back. <laughs> Miracle in the mid lane. 10 for 6 again. Storm 6 for 3 and in fact getting. In close again, and as you said, you cancel with his regen. He's aware that this harassment is going to be high, and it certainly has been. I think it's it's not as bad as it once was, but I think having Kuroki just sitting there waiting for the courier the whole time, cancel can't deliver items while Miracle can. And now the rotation's coming out from Sin, but the jump in, they might kill cancel before Sin gets there. I mean, as we saw, it's it's such a beautiful counter to the storm. You know, normally the storm wants to shove out the lane with the runner, but he can't. Kuro, in, indeed, quite a spot of bother, and in fact, Miracle will just have to let his captain go. Knows that he can't do anything to save. Kuro, Kuro goes down. But yet, trying to push the lane with the remnant, it's impossible, because he just spiked carapaces and turns around and double stuns you, and before you're six, you've got no escape. Miracle, they're trying to close the gap. Send. Miracle should be fine. Yeah, he's still got the stun. He's got carapace. Doesn't even use it. He's chill. He's got the south ready. And uh, item-wise, finishing off the healer. Here we go. Miracle only had one previous game on Nyx. A loss against Team Secret. Oh, hell it. Back in, the, uh, back in the qualifiers for Boston. So, quite a while ago indeed. But feeling fit to bring it back into the game. So, quite an important match, as we said. You know, this... this was, uh, that spot at man up top. Yeah, indeed, quick with the tether, back to the creeps, gets himself out of there. Now Sindarin, in trouble. Yeah, the Tumor Man's just going to turn toward it, it's him, hit the avalanche. Tomato's trying to chase, DH bottling up, looking to juke it out. Can he get himself out of this? He's got tether back up, joins back to Matuma Man. I don't think the Tomato can get this kill. Matuma Man, he's got toss available. Ooh, rage comes out from Tomato, and with the rage, that will get him the kill. Matuma Man, he has the avalanche, oh, but nice, nice juke deep for Tomato. In fact, now Matuma Man could be in trouble. He's out of mana. Tomato and Weeha. Turning, looking to chase. The Wisp is porting in, they've got he heals. He's back in time, Tether's there. Sinrin with the battery assault, they've got three heroes. They do manage to surround Matuma in the coach, but no, tossed back onto Sin, takes him back out. What? Matuma Man moves in with the Avalos, trying to man up here. Cold Embrace comes through from Weeha onto Sin. Keeps it alive, the tree's been picked up by Matuma Man. Sweet four from Kuroki. They'll chase down the clockwork, they'll take Sin down. Now looking towards Tomato, there's three heroes here. Tomato, he's trying to make a go at this with the rage and the open wounds, but it's not enough. He's tossed back by Matuma Man. Tomato is down as well. This top lane getting incredibly chaotic as both heroes, both teams happy to run at each other. But overall, seeming to favor that of Liquid. Looking at the other lanes as well, bottom lane continues to be an absolute farm fest. 33 to 1, 31 to 2 between Kezu and Mind Control. And uh, mid lane, to be fair, other than the time we saw Storm going down, it's pretty even, as we can see with the CS. They're doing all right in the Storm, but I think by the looks of it, some of that CS is indeed the jungle yes. creeps as he's been forced to leave the lane. So overall net worth, uh, in terms of that mid matchup, still very much giving the lead to Miracle. Miracle's almost, almost level 7 in comparison to level 5 Storm, too. He's got a clear level advantage and. This aggro tri lane from mid or feed is not working at all. Not at all. Tomato cannot farm while the tiny is free farming and with high levels. And when you're aggroing, especially versus a wisp, you want to be able to crush the IO. But the IO is not going to crush it all. Kuroki, get some help here from GH. Sin, trying to get it aggressively. 
But it's very hard to do so with any sort of IO pairing. Every time GH is just there with the stay, it's making it possible for these heroes to get there. They're looking for mind control the bottom. Draws in. They have indeed. Here comes the GA, mind control, trying to back up. There's a fair bit of magical though. The GA really isn't an issue, as we can see. Guardian Angel is, is going to do nothing to save you against those two heroes. Mid lane, Miracle. Kind of trapped up by the cogs. He's got vendetta. Very tanky, and indeed with a vendetta, he should be fine. They, they have got a sentry down mid, so he's got to be careful how cheeky he plays it. Moving himself away, he's trying to turn. He knows that he's got the back of Akuro with the vendetta here. He turns, stabs Cinderin in the back. cinderin has gone. Tomato man's up, though, with the open wounds and rage. Has he got enough damage? Miracle, he's so beefy, and with the attack <laughs> reduction, the attack speed reduction for Akuro, Tomato can't finish off the kill. Mind control TP's in with the purification. Sounds a miracle. A miracle's gonna survive. Look how confident he is. Because he has 10 armor, he's like, all right, this life's gonna kind of take Oh, top lane cancel's coming. He does have to level six, zips away, and he has to. But Tuma Man was he's looking for the chase, and in fact, he's gonna look to continue to chase. Cancel with the shrine, should be fine. GH tethering away from Cinderin. Now cancel, he's gonna look to go for GH, and GH knows he's gotta tank that one. But Tuma Man's trying to run out, turns with the toss and the avalanche onto cancel. Not enough to kill him, but cancel's now out of mana. Can't continue to chase down the tiny, but Tuma Man gets away. Kezu, in the time that they killed my control bottom, got the tower. That's a pretty big thing for mid or feed there. So he's farming very well, but the other two lanes are being sacked incredibly hard. Tomato does not have a good place to go now. He's sitting in the mid lane, so at least he can lane decently versus Nyx Assassin, being that he's a strength hero, but Miracle being at such a high level advantage, he can't threaten. Double damage. 13 kills, 8 minutes. Liquid now starting to farm a couple stacks here with the IO Tiny. Cancel as well. Getting himself a couple of stacks from his half of the jungle up top. Cinderin, battery assault is not an issue at all for these two at this stage with the amount of regen that they've got pumping between them. GH and Matuma Mat. Easy kills onto the clock each and every time Sting comes into that lane alone. He has to be careful of turning up to top lane. Matuma Mat is a little too big now. He's top net worth on the tiny. And the combo is strong. Radiance Huge amounts of magical burst that are very hard for any hero to withstand at this early stage of the game. Wonder what build Matsu is going to go for. It looks like he's going to be going for the blink with the way he's saving 1800 yeah. gold. So he can just get those quick pickups. And his skill build uh, test yeah. that he's probably going to be going blink. Yeah, absolutely. Well. well, normally we see what the 114. Yeah, at least from the NA, yeah. the NA games that we did see the tiny being played this with Harry. We'll see how good the EU tiny is compared to NA tiny. So far, so good. Leave them at man. They've got a 2k gold lead liquid. He yeah, queues up the blink now. We're right, and Miracle's on the prowl. Six. Vendetta. Vendetta plus Omni Heal Bomb. They Potential. Catch. They might be able to catch Cancel off guard here. I mean, as we've seen, if they can just get close to him, use the Spike Carapace from Invis. If he pops down a remnant, he's gone. He can't pop a remnant down. Syndrome's pinging him. He seems like he knows yeah. something's up down here. If a remnant goes down, Cancel will die. Cool. Uh oh, Sin's gonna be the one. Yep, they'll go for that one instead. Straight up with the purification. They got enough with the mana burn, they do. Very, very clean cut combo. Going for treads on Nyx too, so he can do that extra right click damage. And there we have, as, as you said, and expect yeah, him to my man. Yeah, gets the blink dagger complete. It was just because the skill build I saw him doing, because he had the 2 3 1 build when, yeah, like you said, 1 1 4 is the difference when you're just going for farming. Kuro claims a bounty rune. They did catch the scan on him. They were looking for him because they thought he was warding as well. We have puts a sentry down preemptively. A miracle again, invis. This time it's not a vendetta, but he is going to continue looking for cancel. Cancel just having nowhere to really recover and he's slowly but surely farming, but he's not get, being able to use Remnant to push out the lane too nicely. Nyx, missing. Yeah, both Cancel and Tomato falling a little bit behind. They're not in the same position at all as, as the Tomato Man and Miracle at this stage. It's that difference. Nyx, you say Cancel having a lot of pressure put on him as the wraparounds are looking to come in on the bottom lane. Kezu's gonna have to make a lot of space for these guys to catch up. He's doing a good job of at least uh, focusing on getting towers though. He's just running at the tower, tanking the wave. And Kezu, he is going to be quite a bit of a beast, especially with the fact that there is this magical, you know, it is the burst build on Tiny. Kezu does have the hood, and then the other core is an next assassin. The Timber Sword, it has a lot of potential this game, and he certainly had the setup to, oh, to sort of have that game come through. Up top indeed, relocate straight away. They look towards the Wyvern, the Wyvern's down and down. Now they turn towards Kezu, he's out of mana. 
That's again. That's a tough kill. Yeah, with the beef that he has, he's more than able to just walk it off, get back to safety. But we didn't even not mention the uh, next combo that they have with the IO relocate. Now he's being able to scout out. And get those little type of pickoffs in my control. Just leaning 1v1 versus cancel. Tiny for Liquid since GI6. Oh, unplayed on Matumba. This tiny debut. Since TI6 Elite. My control played a tiny. 100% win rate. My control. We'll see if Matumba man, Matumba man can match that. Going for the Echo Saber after. Cancel scouting them out, seeing that they're doing some ancients. Miracle's low on mana here. Sin finds him. He's got the dust as well. Miracle looks to be in a heap of trouble here. Yeah, that's with the spike carapace, but uh, that is not going to be enough to save him. Or is it? No, it's not. Batch yourself easily goes past it after the first prop. And I, it is definitely an issue. You know, Liquid do have to be careful with the Snix Assassin core. This is. It isn't the core that you want to play the farm game with at all. You no. you are picking this because you are confident that you are going to dominate early. Well, I mean, we say that, but they're queuing up Midas on Omni Knight. Midas, they, I mean, they, they have Midas on Omni Knight. Midas finished already on Kuroki as well. Maybe this is the game where we see the level 25 Nyx oh, Assassin. I, dude, I really hope so. What's the other 25 other than the 100? Ob actually? Unobstructed pathing on Nyx. Oh, okay. I mean, that sounds. Like, you, you get the ad, you surely. If you get to that stage, you want to have a bit of fun. I've seen it on supports before where you get the unobstructed path, and it's pretty sweet. Kuro almost gets bursted by Kezu. Okay, Kuro dive, though. But yeah, this game. I mean, if we get there. For a cool I want to see some 100 agi ethereal blade combos. Sounds pretty hot. Yeah. Miracle. They will scout out to Mato. They could go for something if they see anyone. Oh, oh they actually break the smoke, smoke. as well. Dude. And the dust does not catch. Miracle. Cinderen has been befuzzled. And it's okay, first and fast bombs coming out. Wow, since one and six. He's actually really struggling this game. Dyer's middle tower. And yeah, the infest was scouted, so Tomato hops out. He's got the armless finished up and he's queued up an SNY into Desolator. He's gotta get back from the farm. They're getting no, this this tiny but man is getting further ahead. He does have good core matchups. The life stealer versus tiny, life stealer versus Nyx. It's pretty nice. Not versus Omni Knight, of course, but versus Nyx Assassin, you kinda eat him and tiny doesn't have Craggy for the bonus armor or anything. Until Tiny Tiny gets bigger. Life Stealer is pretty solid versus him. Bill for cancel. Almost kinda. Treads Kaya. The standard as it's become. I just saw cooldown for Kuro, come on Kuro. Pop that Midas, my boy. He's scared to walk up next to Kevin. He is. He wants to use it. Spells are used, oh. now he can do it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it, it's gonna be the full carry build on Nyx. He's got, he got Drum and he's queued up Mantha. I mean, I'm, I'm interested to see how this works from there. Because this is definitely one of those builds that... Oh, yeah, just ...is a little through. crazy. And, and I thought, well, mid lane, they go over the combo. They'll look to Kezu, and that is... A little bit more than the Tumor Man can afford to deal with at this stage in terms of should have the damage to go for him. Yeah, but yeah Drums, Man, to Nyx Assassin. I'm I'm excited to see see how much you can play. I feel like with this hero though, you are definitely limited at, at how much you can do in terms of damage mid lane. The Tumor Man is getting aggressive. He knows that he can do so with Mind Control, offering the repel up to him. Cancel the best. Three. Cancel indeed. Zip straight away looking for the IO. Purification and GA that comes out just in time to save GA. And now Miracle's coming with the TP. He's looking for the perfect angle. Can't quite get it there with the cog pack from Sinner and knocking them away. They've got the Winter's Curse locking down Matuma Man. Not enough damage from his teammate to bring down Matuma Man though. They've only lost Kuro for now. Kezu trying to come back into the midst of four. Doesn't manage to find the connection with the Timber Chain. Tomato raised up, chasing towards Miracle. They've got the slow from the open wounds with the save from IO. The purification onto GA. getting that heal through the tether to Miracle. Keeping the Nyx Assassin alive. Miracle will survive. It's Kezu trying oh, to go carapace. in with the Timber Chain, but the Carapace just in time catches him off guard. Matuma Man looking to come back in, has to toss the repels up on Matuma Man, so Cancel can't do anything against this tiny. Miracle looks back towards Cancel, Sinner in with the cogs, with the laser from Kuro, flies straight over, takes him down. Miracle's trying to man up against Tomato, Spike Carapace just as the race falls off into the stun. They've got the perfect control, but Weeha, cold embrace, saving Tomato for now. They, can they finish him? They can. The avalanche toss from Matuma Man takes the kill onto Tomato. Kuroki not done, looking for Cancel on this tree lines, he's chasing them down. Get this kill. There's no mana on the Storm Spirit. He's got that tiny little bit. He goes into the creep capsule. Oh, he is going to make it out. Only just. 
And overall, a lot of clutch plays there from Liquid between this this IO and Omni Knight. So much save potential. So much heals and sustain. And suddenly, there's a 6k gold lead. Middle feet are losing their tier one tower. And Tomato, this life stealer, and then cancel Storm Spread are falling further behind. And already Miracle's looking for more. They have a sentry. We are seeing this straight away. Goes for the corner breaks. I don't know if that's going to save him, but the Storm Ray coming through. They're going to see We are hit the ground. Cinnaron pops the cogs, trying to get out. Liquid, can they chase this? They're looking towards both Kezu and Cinnaron. And Cinnaron a little too slippery. Goes into the three line, tries with the TP out, is not going to make it. But the Echo Saber from Matuma Man, a couple of punches, and Cinnaron's gone. They've got the toss into the stun from Miracle. Have they got enough control to bring down Kezu? He's got a hood. He's got the stick. Charges, Kezu will survive for now. Liquid, they're still moving in. Matuma Man, repelled again. Doesn't quite find the combo on to cancel. He's able to get out with the ball lightning. Tomato as well just TPs up to the top lane away from this. Desperately trying to find some area of the map where he can find the farm. Well, we're seeing a reason why Liquid's so damn good with the IO. All that sustain. That fight went on for, I mean, well, that seemed like four minutes that you just went on stop talking. So I'll say about three, four minutes of them fighting. And now they've got AK lead. That was oh, pretty unbelievable. Miracle. Come on, Miracle. Look at that. They didn't get. They only got one kill on Kuroki's oh, Phoenix we, we in that entire yeah. fight. Oh, here we go. Don't remnant. Don't remnant cancel. Oh, he's done it. Oh, he's done it, and he's gonna pay the price. Bye. The damage. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. GH comes in for the kill secure. I like it. Has cancelled down for 30 seconds. This is getting wildly out of control. A little similar to what we saw in game one. As things have just... There just seems to be this point in each game where, where Liquid get their items. And they, they just know, you can tell that this lineup, this team, they know that with the items they have compared to the items that the opponent has, they can outplay them in the team fight. And they will continue to fight as much as the opponent wants to throw heroes at them. And they'll only stop once the opponents sort of concede, you know, Liquid yeah. will literally beat you into submission when they know that they have the upper hand. Wait, we got we got GH on the call the other day, right? And he's like, yeah. you know, they just wanted to battle us, and that's what we like sure. to do. We just want to battle. Yeah. BKB Omni Knight, 18 minutes. Excuse me? BKB Omni Knight, All right. 18 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and his Midas and efficiency boys up top. Oh, look at the miracle. Pick. Oh, they got him. Yeah, yeah, they should have him indeed with the infest gank. They've taken down. The Nyx Assassin. That's 30 damage for Matt. AC next on the build. Cancel still with distant dreams of a bloodstone. Yeah, he's getting so shut down this game. Tomato is starting to kind of catch up, but he's also not really on the same pace. Tiny's also starting to farm ancient stacks now, which they did have during all that. So he just farmed up two ancient stacks. Uh, triple stack bottom and a triple stack at this hard camp it looked like. And Kuroki's also going to be farmed this game. Oh, he's getting the Ags. I, we don't see a lot of Aghanims. Phoenix, Phoenix says, we really don't. Oh, Tomato goes for TP out, but with the quick toss by Matsu, and they turn on him, dead. Two quick smacks. And they ping it out, Tomato's like, oh, they must have a ward here, they saw me. Syndrome. He's got the hook shot. Not really anything that he wants to be dragging himself into now, Radiant even Kuro. Since 1 and 8, he's still trying to queue up that urn third vessel, but yep. he is... Oh, he got the, he's got the urn finished. Okay, it's coming down on the curry. Oh, there we go. Program. So he can counteract Radiant some of the healing from the IO, just turn it, throw an urn on him, and he can't really do much. Just can't really bottle an urn himself to heal up the teammates. But Miracle just been spending this entire game vendetted, looking for targets to pick off with that relocate combo. Cancel is actually just hiding in the trees. It's pretty terrifying Look at to this. come out on the map. Cinder and Cancel both just chilling on the sidelines. They look like they want to make a play onto Kuroki when he steps up. But Miracle is in position waiting. And that is up again. You can't come out. You... He's coming out. Sind wants to try to set up here for Kuro. Miracle, they're, they're, yeah, they're baiting hard with this Phoenix. But, but you're right, they're, they're not oh, fighting Sind? for now. He's got spotted by the range creeps. Oh, to relocate. Here we go. Goodbye, Sin. 
Rest in peace, young boy. Matu's like, you think cogs will save you? I can hit over them. I'm tiny. Oh, he's jumping for more Matu. He comes straight in behind the tower. Oh, he'll be taken back. Fine control. He's playing the farm game. Knows his team don't need him. This stage, GH's eye was enough really to keep the cause alive. But Tomato could just, so mind, mind control could just hit creeps. Tomato. Keep farming. Careful when you use rage like that to farm. They're trying to chase with the drums, as you say. They know rage is down for three, two, one. It's back up. Just in time. And he will get out of that, Kezu. Can they chase this? I mean, Miracle, he knows that the Timbersaw target isn't really the best target. We are as well going down to lower ground. We'll live for now. They'll pop down another sentry middle feed. They've got eyes onto Miracle. Moving across, Sinneran. Picking up the life screen of Steinem. In fact, Matuma Man jumps in with the combo. Looks for Cinderin. Cinderin, he's down. Tomato in return. Turns towards Matuma. Repel and GA from a trap mind control. Keep Matuma Man alive. We are has to put the Winter's Curse to try and keep Miracle off it, but it's not going to save the wife. And Miracle comes through. Gets the final hit in. And middle feed, they're down too. Kezu trying to look for the big plays. He comes into three of them, but Matuma Man just turns with the avalanche. This timber store just melts. Tomato, he's not even going to get GH. The purification from mind control comes out onto GH, healing him back up. Tomato is trying his best to retreat here with the armlet toggling, but a tree to the face sorts him out. And this game, 16k gold lead, 22 minutes in. This is all while It'll... Hiroki's just farming bottom. He's got three parts of his Aghanim. He just wants to build an Aghanim. He's about to actually have the full Ags. He's just been oh. sitting bottom while the rest of his team just runs around in 4v5. Now I'm looking forward to Kuro throwing the game with the Aghanims. <laughs> we, we know it can happen. You swallow someone in the egg, you take him down with you. Cancel that whole time though was just sitting bottom while his team's fighting 4v4 in the mid lane and near the shrine. Just didn't even want to get involved there with them. Doesn't have a TP on him either. GH, spot up by Kazu. Oh, he's gonna solo kill this. GH wants to find a tether. Will he? Oh, save GH, boys! Mind control, he does come over. Bails him out. This is the most fun I've ever seen. Kuroki is ahead of Miracle in farm. Ex I don't think I've ever, I don't think I've ever seen this in a liquid game. Well, that's stern words for Miracle after this game then. Kuro's like, excuse me. So he can eat people with the Aghanims to save them now. So uh, let's, aside from the memes, is there any serious reason why Kuro's felt the need to buy this, this game on the Phoenix? Like, what, what is so good about this? To just, I guess it's an extra save to save if they try to go on GH. Now they have they have so many different types. I mean, of I love it. Don't get me wrong, I love it. But if they've already got the save from GH, they've got save potential from the Omni Knight. It I mean, makes that's it, a lot of save already. They don't really have great ways to hit the egg, right? I think that's the thing. And now this boosts boosts it up. More hits on the egg. It's How many to, hits is it? It's now? up to ten. Ten hits on the egg. Who's gonna hit it? Storm and Life Stealer. Storm it walking into. Why has got the range for the Arctic Burn? Can be nice. Sure, it but he's buy. he's been having trouble getting in. Yeah. I think it's mostly just the Life Stealer who's gonna be able to hit it. I mean, because Storm will just get bursted down if he steps into the I mean, fight. Don't get me wrong, it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun watching and it's fun. the Ags. And uh, talking about Ags, I think Omni Knight's going for an Aghanims as well. He was. he was. I think he almost has it. Oh, here we yeah. go. Straight on to Miracle. Miracle needs help and he needs it fast. Pops the Spike Carapace, but with the Rage on the level of Tomato. Takes him down. Oh, DD Ruin inside of Matu's bottle. Yeah. AC finished up. He GH has got a mechanism. I don't know how they turn this one around, fuck. I don't know we've either. had a, we've had what literally four stomps today, haven't we? Every game's been been pretty brutal. They have been indeed. What, what's the next series? Is that any less brutal? I don't know. I think it's middle feet versus Navi, isn't it? Yes. Oh, miracle! Or Matu with DD oh. rune, looking for Kezu. Can't find him. Huh? 18k gold lead already. Yeah. What's experience lead? Oh god, 18k as well. I see those pings from Miracle there. Where's, where's Cancel been for a while? He's only got two deaths, but I haven't seen him. Oh, he's carrying. Here I am. He's just struggling to get into the fights versus Nyx Assassin. Oh, Weeha gets spotted out. Two quick swings of the Mighty Tree. And Tomato's also super struggling. They both are sitting at 79, well, 8k net worth they just broke. But now Cancel, I believe he's got no, he does not. He doesn't even have the orchid finished up. But they're going. They're infested. They're looking for something. Either way. I don't know what they're looking for. I don't think they know what they're looking for. Oh, oh Cinderin coming in straight away and That's going out just as quickly. Jay's pop. They've got the Phoenix Supernova. They're trying to take it down. And they finish. Oh. All. They do kill it in time. I know Matu is alone. Wait, GH was in that, wasn't he? Yes, he was. Kuro just fed GH. That's what they were looking for. That's what they're looking for. They're looking for Kuro. 
And now Miracle's in with my control. I mean, they're still going to lose the fight pretty horrifically by the looks of it. Uh, Timberstone's pretty hard to kill, but Cancel's uh, in a lot of trouble. Yeah, Cancel's out of mana. Weehaw's coming in. Oh, where's the stun? Oh, Winter's Curse! I'll oh, back the Nyx Assassin. I don't... Can they, they might be able to kill Miracle. I'm sure it's doing his best to buff him up. Cancel's shrined up, too. Oh, I hey. guess he's out of mana. Might be in some trouble. There's a BKB on the Oh, and he's got an Orchid now. Coming for the storm. Oh, he gets Spike Carapace. No, he pulled Lightning straight into the Spike Carapace stun. Mike Stroll pops his BKB. Purifies up Miracle. Miracle just takes the Cancel kill. Despite Cancel just shrining up. And somehow these two are still alive. Repel from my control onto himself. Purifies Miracle. Miracle turns with the two man stuns. Hitter now turns up. But look, TH comes through. He's trying to do his best to keep Miracle alive with the tether. He will. Miracle survives. Purification onto GH, healing both him and Miracle with the tether. And they turn towards Weeha. GH still alive. They're trying to finish him off with the timid chain. They will get him. But Miracle, he's back up to full health and full mana pretty much. Purification from mind control as Miracle looks to run down Sinner and the cogs are out. Tomato has respawned. He's tried to come back into the fight, but Kuro's there. Kuro is ready to play, and so is Matuma Man. They turn towards Tomato. Tomato trying to find Mind Control with the Sun Ray, keeping Mind Control alive. The Rage is going to run out soon for Tomato. Avalanche and Stun's there from Miracle and Matuma Man. Tomato's down for 50 seconds. And if this isn't a clown fest, I don't know what is. Does Mind Control have the XP talent? He does. He's level 21 now. Level that fight. 21 on the night. <laughs> Mind Control just got. I don't even know how much experience, honestly. Oh. All right, there goes the storm. Cancel. Zip TPs. I, I mean, I, I do enjoy games like this. It, it, you know, it still primes up your day. I mean, there's 43 kills in 27 minutes. Yeah. Oh, the curse. Oh. He's pretty tanky, though, but to jump in. See if they can get my, my BKB on me, Night Boys. Pause the BKB turns with the purification. And there's the supernova. Saves the body. It will. The Tumor Man also gets the toss back onto Sinner, and he flew too close to the sun. And Sinarin is down. 45 seconds, no plot work, no captain. What can they do? They're looking for the stun onto Kezu. Jump off from a Tuma Man, gets the Avalanche off to Weehar. Weehar's down. Cancel will zip forward, manages to take down the Omni Knight. Now turning towards Matuma Man. Double kill for Cancel. Could he get more looks towards Kuroki? GH is there with the tether though. Cancel's out of mana. Big couple of kills for Cancel though. It may cost him his life as Miracle is beating into this Storm Spray. Look at this man go with the treads and drums. Takes him down. Tomato can't even get GH. GH is out with the relocate. Pops the race. Oh, Cancel's back though with the buyback. Gets the stun. It's Miracle. Miracle pops the Mansa style. Turns with the stun. But Miracle's down. Big kills for middle feed. Kuroki still alive. But Tomato, he's got the open wounds. Turns towards Kuroki. Matuma Man's there to save the Phoenix though. With a quick slap from the Tiny. Cuts him down. Kezu moves in with the Chakra. It was dive from Kuroki. Trying to get out of there. Shiva's guard from Kezu slowing down the Phoenix. Cancels back in. Manages to get Kuro. Turns towards GH. Liquid, they've lost four. This is quite a lot of deaths for Liquid. How many buybacks? Lifestealer bought back and Storm bought back. It was a lot of buybacks. But Matu bought back to try to come back into the fray. And he bought a Mask of Madness as he bought back on the Tiny. So he wanted to just join in the fight. This is just battling, dude. This is... This is some TI Grand Finals <laughs> level of play from these teams. I mean, this is great to watch. Matu oh, from we are. Oh, dear. If he kills my Timmer Man, let's see if Kezu can do it. He actually might be able to do it. He's got a toss back I believe in a second. Kezu. Okay. And yeah, he's got a blink. I'll chase that. Okay. I think it's calmed down now for a moment. Oh, no, my control is Midas. He needs to use it. He just—he doesn't even want to use it. He just wants to battle. Use your Midas, sir. Kezu. Let's spot it, Kezu. They have the down. damage, though. It's pretty tanky. Yeah, he's got the Shiva's guard out as well. I don't think they get this. Kezu's safe. He'll be fine for now. Miracle, though, with the Vendetta, has his eyes on to Sinner and stun straight up. And with the stun race, Sinner is gone. Sin does have buyback available, though. Poor Sin. 13 deaths on this poor man. It's not bad for Sin. Pay respects for Sin. Radiant are scanning. And okay. It's time, to, it's time to slow down. It's time to go in the road. Okay. There's a DD room there, Matu. I'm ready for Cancel to snipe this one. Does anyone want the DD? Oh, oh, there we go. Come on, Cancel. You gotta head over. He's gotta, he's gotta do the big balls play. Dude, Miracle's level 21. We might actually. Cancel know this is going on. We might see level 25. Oh, is he gonna time it right? Go! Do it, Cancel! Go now! Dude, they're really—they're trying to get level 25 Nick. They just gave him the tome. 
He's level 21. <laughs> he's got the Ethereal Blade queued up. He's going for the 100 edge. No, he's not. He's going for no, the 100 Oh, edge. he is as well. He's, he, I don't know if he's going to get there, Fog. They're going to have to he, throw a little bit more if they want to keep this game going liquid. He's looking pretty comfortable. He's going though. bottom. Is he's he, a, he sees uh, a creep he's wave. He actually just wants to farm. He sees a creep wave. He's setting up down there. All right. Cinder and oh, hey, GH. They put the GH. GH pulling loads of the magical damage. GH is gone. Middle feed. Can they get more out of this? They turn towards Matuma Man. Matuma Man instantly tosses back Tomato Tomato. Matuma Man still getting very low here. In fact, in fact, Matuma Man, he's in trouble. He does have the ages, of course. Winter's Curse holding him back. The middle feed will turn. Matuma Man actually gets the chance to blink off. They do take him down, though. That's Matuma Man's ages gone. Miracle gets the stone onto Weeha and Kezu. They've got the stone right from Kuro moving in. But with the rage, oh, the spiders on the Matsu. Matsu. Oh, the Phoenix save! It comes out for Kuro, but they're beating on the stun. Is it going to get off in time? The stun oh, yes. him. Kuro saves him. They come back for round two. Weeha's down. Kezu as well. Buyback for Steam, but they've lost Tomato. He's not got buyback available. The Aghanim's Phoenix from Kuro paying off with the save of the century. And this may finally be coming to an end. And now they've got buybacks. Cancels it. Woo! Repel on Kuro. Cancel. What up? Back to base. Back to hell. 95 seconds. No storm. Middle feet Cancel. crumbling. This game is over. GG. It was a close one. It was a fun one. It was a fun one. I like it. Oh. In 283 games to Kuro, he's only with higher GMPM four times. Four times. Did he actually end up? I think. I think Miracle actually pulled ahead of him at the end there. Okay, good job. Well, I don't know what to say. I mean, <laughs> the I, heels and sustain. I think it was. It was quality the entertainment. Thing. I think that's what we have to say to that one. This is true. And this is why we love it when Cinder and the boys come together and, and have a bit of fun. How did Cinder end this game? Ooh. Cinder ended. I don't want to. We don't want to. We don't. 315. He struggled. I mean. Uh, to be honest though, Liquid, that okay. is that amount.